conversation. It's multiple people. Um, Skittles, who's another huge person. If y'all know Miss Skittles, another huge person in brand management. There's a couple other huge people in media and PR. People pitch ideas to us all the time. You have to understand clients and people that want to work with us pitch ideas to us all the time. But if it's completely nonsense, if it is fraudulent, if it's a BS, I'm not. Like, I've had people say, listen, we'll get, how about we all rent apartments and then without the apartment complex knowing, we'll put them on Airbnb and did it do And then from there, we can have a salon in this one, and this one, this one. I have clients coming to me with amazing ideas all the time. But if I think it's something that's gonna get them in legal trouble, like rental arbitration, something, I tell them, like, listen, you're on the right path, but that's not the way to get it. So I'm gonna tell someone. So when someone's pitching something to me and I know it's straight BS or I think it's gonna get them in trouble, I'm telling them no. So you have to understand, he's not, He's telling me this with no defense. He's telling me this regular, having a regular pitch to me. And I'm telling him like, yo, you got a good idea of what you want to do. But what you're doing right here is BS to people. That's fraud. And his version of it is, I'm not actually doing it. I'm teaching them how to do it. So basically, he was going to charge Jazz's husband the method. And Jazz's husband would then be responsible for doing it himself. So he technically isn't doing fraud but let me tell you something in conspiracy they don't care they don't yeah. care if you're just the person showing them where the drug dealer is you, it's conspiracy mm -hmm. so yeah you might not be serving the coke to someone that and they die from fentanyl but you show them where they get the coke from that's conspiracy wow. so you're dirty you're so, you know what i'm saying you might not have told them to rob that guy leaving the club but you showed them the guy and said yo hey he has a lot of money he's drunk you're the bartender that showed them that person. So you're an accessory. So I, I want y'all to understand, he's gonna always deny it and say it blue in the face like it's real because he technically isn't doing it, but he's charging people for this method that is not mentorship. It's a method to do fraud. That's exactly what it is. It's exactly. no way around it. And so is that Olivia's charging business them too? a large amount of money because they're getting large amounts of money because you have to understand this keep this in mind now keep this in mind if you're somebody who's trying to build a business you're somebody who's like you know what I, i'm kind of struggling but i got the means to create a business right and then he guides you to make ten thousand dollars like he says in a month no offense you're gonna give him what he wants because you're excited that you got that ten thousand dollars because from going to having nothing to not having ten thousand dollars in credit even if it's in business credit you know, he's not he's not doing anything illegal because I'm in the industry. He's not doing anything illegal. Technically, all he did was show that person how to get that ten thousand dollars, which at the end of the day, though, no matter what it is, no offense. I work in business credit. You can everyone thinks that they can just get their EIN and LLC and get business credit, but it's not. You have to have a legitimate business when they get when they get audited, they'll be screwed. And then one day they'll be like, oh, my God, screw Sean. And then guess what? You know, this is. This is when the real truth comes out, but no one's gotten there yet because they're enjoying the money. They're enjoying the benefits of everything mm -hmm. that Sean's kind of mentoring them about. I don't want to so is know Olivia's business that. the same thing? So they're all three of them are doing the same exact thing. I don't think Shanice is because I've gone lives with Shanice and she's like in her own little world, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Have y'all ever just had a second to like kind of relook at her lives compared to theirs? She's in her own little world. Like she's like, I don't know, bro. And you know how Sean always goes on lines and says Shanice can do whatever he wants, but then when it comes to Olivia, it's like T -t -t -t. I feel like Shanice has no um ain't with the shits. I feel like Shanice is kind of like you ain't gonna run me, but Olivia's That's like you know Shanice is, is the girl who dates a drug. Shanice is the girl that dates a drug dealer. She's the girl that has a hair salon and dates a drug dealer. Which yeah. I'm so not maybe even that's on. what it is. So maybe she, like she's, she's like with the military and stuff. Him and Olivia are doing the scams. I don't, I won't speak, I don't know Olivia or mm -hmm. Shanice. Yeah, I cannot say anything bad about those women. They just seem like girls that are being manipulated, but not manipulated in the sense of the poly situation. As yep. far as the po in the poly situation, it's just this womanizer, girl with a narc, being manipulated, that sense manipulated. As far as business comes, they know exactly what's illegal. They know what's legal. They know what they're doing. If my boyfriend's selling drugs, why do I have to sell drugs? I could just sell hair. Why do I have to sell drugs? My boyfriend he claims he doesn't have but a website. I when just raid a website. House. But listen, when they raid my house, I'm going to jail too. <laughs> I ain't innocent because if you were innocent, you wouldn't be with a drug dealer. That's how they look at it. Yep. That, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Uh, if your boyfriend's doing credit card fraud and you're just getting the gifts from it, your ass is going, your butt is going to jail too. Yep. They don't, they don't look at it as you're innocent. They don't look at it like that. Nope. If he's coming in with unexplained money and you know that this is how he's doing it, you're going to jail. If they go through your cell phone records and he's telling you, hey, get this person social. Hey, don't forget to give him a copy of these pay stubs. Hey, don't forget to make this W-2 for him. That's their girlfriend. That's their girlfriend. That's why, you don't see, she, that's why you don't see Shanice advertising what they do. You always see Olivia saying what they do, but think about it. Have you ever seen Shanice say like, oh, come to him, reach out to him. It's always like Olivia putting it out there. I agree. Shanice I've never like, seen Shanice promote that. Exactly. So y'all, sorry to interrupt, but, but, but he was claiming that he did. Think about it. Sorry to interrupt y'all, but I found, he claimed that he didn't have a website. So I'm just literally on Google and I found a website called masteryofinfluence.com. And apparently that's like everything about all the testimonials, all the businesses, all the people, what he does. Like there's like a whole website, a whole page of like what they're doing, like asking Scroll about $100,000. See when it was made. Yeah, 2021. 2021 is the bottom of the website. So it says masteryofinfluence.com. For the people asking for proof of what I'm talking about, like I said, they were banned off Clubhouse for this. What did I say? It started in 2020 and ended in 2021, October. What did I say? October 2021 for all the people I'm in the I'm literally comments. on Google right now. Y'all can do the same thing I'm doing. I'm just on Google typing his name. And keep I'm in mind, keep in mind that anybody can create a website. TikTok. Keep in mind, anybody can create a website and put their anyway. photos. So just keep that in mind also. So like, unless it's linking back to him, it's on his Facebook. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I have a company. I've had many like fake pages, um, websites created about my company. And like, I'll be like, wait a minute, that's not me. Like, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Now, now if, I, I mean, to be honest with you, you really can't tell. If it was on his page, then 100%. If he says he doesn't have a website, I mean, why would you, if anything, wouldn't that make him look more official if he had a website? So I feel like that's not a reason to deny not having a website. But the thing well, is, I mean, is it was up in, 2021 why would they be advertising this in 2021 if they didn't start until just this last year hmm. i don't see them checking for him like that this year you know or excuse me i don't see them checking for him like that in 2021 you know if, if it was a website that was that's why i said scroll down to the bottom because if it was made in 2023, then I'd be like, eh. But 2021, like, who gonna do that for him? He was really? not known, y'all. Y'all have to understand. He doesn't. He barely he has followers right now. He was not known. He was in Clubhouse. I wish I was on the other live with all the Clubhouse people that remembered him because we literally. I thought that these people were going popular because they were a poly couple. I was like, oh, here's other people in poly again blowing up because people in poly blow up all the time. There's always a couple, a new couple. Everybody's talking about. I had no idea that he was doing all this finessing and stuff because we've had a conversation about this and we've had a deep conversation. See, I don't know nothing about the business credit. They weren't doing business credit yet. They were doing the credit you get for yourself, personal credit with the CPNs getting personal credit, going to stores, getting things. I knew nothing about business credit. I knew nothing about him being a business guru. This was so I never heard of none of this. This is all new to me. Yeah. Wait, go back to that picture with the car. I'm on the camera now. Like <laughs> okay, so I remember him. Do? I remember him saying that he was gonna go live with Grant Cardone. In the ER, I, oh. I, I, I do. I do. PR. You're obsessed with Grant Cardone and all of the like the 10x. And no offense, guys, you can pay to literally be in Grant Cardone's mm -hmm. like mentorship. My uncle does it. I've done it. Like literally, I've met. I've been in the same room as Grant Cardone. Him talking like if we're like people that gone to hang out all the time yeah, it's not seminars that special. all it's over literally not. it's five thousand dollars you get into his 10x program and then you learn how to 10x your business like everyone another, does it. it's a legal scam another legal scam. exactly mm -hmm. it's literally just that so whenever i heard him say like oh i have grant cardone on speed dial i'm like i mean you probably have his like i i i, I literally <laughs> said to um said to Shanice on her live. I'm like, I know he always talks about Grant Cardone. So if he gets Grant Cardone, is it the 561 number? Because like, that's his like mentorship number. That's not like his real business. It's not like his best friend that he got on like speed dial. It's no, he literally gives out a, it's like a 561-222 number. I'm not gonna give out the real number because I don't want, you know, get in trouble. But it's like a, um, and you can literally reach out to him about the mentorship, which it's not even him. It's like an assistant who then connects you with him. Like it's like a whole thing. So it's not like <laughs> okay. Thing. Two things, two things. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Kay, I'm gonna let I you talk gonna right after this. Two things. Grant Cardone is being sued for fraud right now. And number really? two, yes. And and Grant Cardone is also a Scientologist, from what everybody is raving about. 
But go ahead, Kay. Interesting. But now this is all starting to like really make sense because I was like flipping through like his his saved Sean's saved stories on his Instagram, and he's just always posting Grant Cardone like him at these meet uh, not meetings but like events that Grant be having, the ones you have to pay to get in. Too, and I guess that's the one where he was like paying five thousand dollars to get into. Uh-huh. And he would like always post videos of Grant Cardone. He would have like his phone like pushed up in Grant's face, like forcing him to like speak to the phone. So it makes sense that like he looks up to Grant, who is now like being charged for fraud. So I wonder if that's where he's learning that from. I mean, Grant, he's not even important enough. Grant doesn't remember his name. Grant sees tons of people. He's not important grant don't remember him grant he doesn't have a personal relationship with grant grant yeah i'm pretty sure people. grant like yeah he's like like you said a fan like, like if yeah. you're chris brown and your favorite fan comes to all your meet and greets and you recognize their face because you see them at all your meet and greets mm-hmm. so when they're putting the camera in your face say hi to my fans say hi to my you're, you're, you're talking back but you don't really know it so then he can make the narrative look however it looks yeah that's exactly how i was giving on his I story. Get exactly like what you're the saying. camera is pushed up in grant's face and i'm like chill like back up <laughs> like no, it exactly so hard to make it seem like they were friends and i'm like yeah, um, you know, that's all I, I literally can't, I just literally, I'm learning so much from you guys because I had no idea of this new persona he created. I've seen him do two other ones. And I'm going to tell you one thing for fame, the thirst for fame, I work in PR, I work in the industry, and the thirst for fame is so sad. And like I told him, everything you're putting out here cannot be taken away. It is not like an artist reinventing themselves like Sia or something like that because they had an addiction and that are bouncing back. Doing things to people that hurt them in the future, you will get caught up one day. And eventually you will draw enough attraction that you will get yourself in legal trouble. Eventually you will get someone else in legal trouble and they're going to tell on you. Um, And you know, it's just really, really unfortunate. Um, I see tons of lives come up about Sean. I don't add them because the the algorithm is now showing me stuff because of Sean because of that one time me on there with you. But I, I don't have the energy to even get on there. But when I seen it was you, I said, I have to get on this because the way he talked to you and the manner he talked to you, I could not believe it. That's even staged. Like he does not have that demeanor. He does not naturally talk like that. This new, he's like a covert narc now. He went from like the malignant narc to like the covert narc. Now he's like this loud, boisterous narc. When before he was like the leeching narc trying to figure out the way in. And now he has this audience on TikTok. And now he's acting important in real life. That's why I'm hearing about the TV networks. I'm like, don't feel not Not a Zeus, not a Tubi, not no. You literally have no traction. I can sniff around with PR. He knows I do PR. You have no traction. You have no Ain't actual publications about you besides paying publications. You're not doing PR. Krishan Rock has publications about her. That's why the networks were interested in her. I don't care if you're a fan or not. She had traction. That's that's why net, networks offer her. When you watch these shows, a hundred, a thousand pound lives, all these different shows, if you watch... I don't care if it's the parent test on NBC or one of those Netflix shows where they're dating. These people have traction, meaning they have Instagram followers. They told their story on social media. They might be on TikTok. They might be on Instagram. They might be on anything. But these people are not random people getting picked and cast.